Hello viewers, in this class we are going to look at the problems related to cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone and sphere. So let us look at the first problem. Look at this problem. The surface area of cube is 726 centimeter square. Find the volume of the cube. He did not mention which surface area whether it is lateral or total. So we will take the total surface area of the cube that is 6a square is 726. A square, if you cancel it in 6 table, it is 121. A is equals to 11. Volume of the cube is A cube, which is 11 cube, 1331. So, answer is 1331. Look at the next one. 7 equal cubes of each side 5 centimeter are joined end to end. Find the surface area of the resulting cuboid. So, if you add 7 end to end 5 centimeter cubes, side of 5 centimeter cubes, it will form a cuboid. He is asking you to find out surface area of the resulting cuboid. See how it actually looks. You are joining 7 end to end cubes. So, we are joining 7 cubes like this. Cube 1, 2, then 7. So, now it forms a cuboid. Here height and breadth will not change, length will change. This, that becomes 7 into 5 which is equals to 35. This is length. Whereas breadth and height remains 5 and 5 only. Total surface area is equals to 2 into L into B 35 into 5 plus b h 5 into 5 25 again 35 into 5 35 into 5 35 into 5 becomes 35 into 10 that is 350 plus 25 375 into 2 total area is 750 this is one way of finding surface area of the cuboid or else you can find it another way also let us look at this figure here by joining the cubes, at every joint, you are joining 7 cubes, there are 6 joints. At every joint, you are losing 2 square surfaces. At every joint, you are losing 2 square surfaces, therefore 6 into 2, you are losing 12 squares. If you are losing 12 squares, there are totally 7 cubes, 7 into 6, 42 squares. Out of 42 squares, there are 6 joints, so 12 squares were missing. 42 minus 12 gives you 30 squares. Now, what is area of each square here? Edge is 5, therefore, area of a square is 25. There are 30 squares, therefore, 30 into 25 gives you 750 centimeter square as the area. So, answer is 750 square centimeters. Look at the next problem. If the length of the diagonal of the cube is 8 root 3, actually diagonal of the cube formula is root 3a is equals to the diagonal. So, here diagonal is 8 root 3. So, root 3a is equals to 8 root 3. Root 3 root 3 cancel, a is 8. Then its surface area is 6a square since it is a cube. 6 into a square is 64. 6 4 is a 24, 36 plus 2, 38. 384 centimeter square is the surface area of the cube given. The volume of the cuboid is twice that of a cube. So, here this problem is related to cube and cuboid both. So, the volume of the cuboid is twice that of a cube. If the dimensions of the cuboid are 9 centimeters, 8 centimeter, and 6 centimeters, the total surface area of the cube. So, you need to find out total surface area which is 6a square 
when it comes to volume L into B into H volume of a cuboid is 2 times the volume of cube that is A cube. Dimensions of cuboid are given 9 into 8 into 6 is 2 A cube. Therefore, A cube is equals to 9 into 8 into 6 into gets cancelled. So, it becomes 3 here. You can write 3 square into 3, 3 cube. 8 you can write it as 2 cube. Therefore, A cube is equals to 2 into 3 whole cube. Therefore, A is equals to 3 2 is a 6 here. If edg is 6, you just need to substitute in this 6 into 6 square, 6 into 36 or 6 into 6 square is 6 cube, which is 216 centimeter square is the surface area. The largest spear is carved out of a cube of side 7 centimeter. The volume of the spear in centimeter cube will be the largest spear is carved out of the cube of side 7 centimeter. The volume of the spear, I have taken a cube cube front view is a square and I am just carving out the largest sphere possible out of a cube. The front view looks like this. It is like a circle is inscribed in a square. Now, what will be equal? The diameter of the sphere that is 2r should be equal to the edge of the cube. 2r is equals to a here. So, I am taking the same value. Carved out of a cube of 7 which means 2r is equals to 7, r is equals to 7 by 2. So, the volume of the sphere is equals to 4 by 3, 22 by 7 pi r cube which is 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into 7 by 2. You can cancel all these values. Seven seven cancel it. Seventy seven into seven by three. Seventy seven into seven, seven seven is a forty nine. Forty nine plus four, five hundred and thirty nine by three. Look at the approximate value. So, if I take it as 540, it would have been 180. Therefore, it is little less than 180. That is 179.467 or else 666. So, it is 179 2 by 3 is the volume of the sphere. Look at this question. The number of spherical bullets that can be made out of solid cube of lead whose urge measures 44 centimeters each bullet being 4 centimeters diameter is take pi value is equals to 22 by 7. So, you have to melt a spherical uh, a solid cube and you have to form some bullets. So, cube volume is equals to n into the volume of the spear. Here diameter is given which is equals to 2r is equals to 4 therefore radius becomes 2. So, n is equals to 44 into 44 into 44 divided by 4 by 3 into 22 by 7, 2 cube is just 8. Then cancel 22 1s are 22 2s are 4 1s are 4 11s are 2 1s are 2 4s are Again, 4 1s are 4 11s are. So, you are getting n value as 121 into another 21 you have. By looking at it, you can say you can eliminate these two options. And the number must be divisible by what? The number must be divisible by 11, 4 plus 1, 5, 2 plus 5 is 7. So, it is not divisible by 11. So, by eliminating option also, you can say your answer is 2541 because this is divisible by 11 and its unit digit is also 1. Even if you multiply, you are going to get 2541. Look at the next one. The volume of the cube whose diagonal measures for root 3. We know diagonal of the cube is root 3a is equals to 4 root 3. 
edge is equals to 4 therefore volume is equals to 4 cube that is 64 look at the next one the ratio of the volume of the cube to that of sphere which will exactly fit inside the cube is if a sphere exactly fits in inside the cube we already know the relation between them we know that the diameter of the sphere is equals to the edge of the cube now first cube then sphere then a by r is equals to 2 by 1 we want their volumes ratio volume of cube by volume of sphere it is relation between cube and sphere therefore volume of a cube is a cube sphere volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube the 4 by 3 goes up then it becomes 3 by 4 pi you will get a by r whole cube a by r is 2 by 1 whole cube 3 into 8 the answer is 6 is 2 pi so here 4 ones are 4 twos are so numerator is 3 into 2 6 denominator is pi so 6 by pi is same as 6 is 2 pi here now look at the next one the ratio of the volume of the cube end of a solid sphere is 343 is to 49 just now we found out the ratio so if 4 by if 4 by 3 comes up it becomes 3 by 4 pi into a by r whole cube the ratio is 363 divided by 49 the ratio of the edge of the cube to the radius of the sphere now see here 3 ones are 3 120 ones are this becomes 22 by 7 if it goes up a by r whole cube is equals to this is 11 square this is 7 square into 4 pi 4 into 22 by 7 here 11 cube 2 will be left out the 2 into 4 is 2 cube because it is 8 by 7 cube therefore ratio becomes a by r becomes cube you eliminate it 11 into 2 by 7 so it is 22 by 7 or else 22 is to 7 so answer is 22 is to 7 actually pi is to 1 the next one the volume of the right circular cylinder now this is cylinder and a cube a right circular cylinder 14 centimeter in height is equal to that of cube whose edge is 11 the radius of the base of the cylinder is is equating the volume of a cylinder to the volume of the cube and is asking you the radius of the base so equate both the volumes pi r square h is equals to a cube pi means 22 by 7 r square let it be r square height is 14 cube edge is 11 cube 111 11 twos then after you got 2 here so 11 square will be left out now r square is equals to 11 square by 4 4 means 2 square now r is equals to 11 by 2 which is 5.5 centimeter the answer is 5.5 centimeter if edge of the cube is increased by 50 percent then the percentage increase in the surface area if edge a is increased by x percent area means a square a square is increased by 2x plus x square by 100 i am giving you the direct formula i told you in the basics now i am giving it as a direct formula if suppose it decreases by x percentage the answer is 2x minus x square by 100 would be surface a decrease in the surface area here he asked to increase so it is plus 2 into 50 plus 50 square is 2500 by 100 so answer is 125 percent increase in its area or else by saying it 50 percent increase followed by 50 percent increase use x plus y plus x y by 100 it is same as 2x plus x square by 100 now look at here the length of the diagonal of the cube is 6 centimeter the volume of the cube so diagonal is root 3a is equals to 6 
cube on both sides. If you do cube on both sides, root 3 cube is 3 root 3 into a cube is equals to 6 cube is 216, 3 1 zam, 372 zam. So, a cube is equals to 72 by root 3. If you multiply and divide it by root 3 and root 3, in the denominator you are going to get 3, 3 1 za, 3 24 za. Therefore, volume of the cube is equals to 24 root 3. So, volume of the cube is 24 root 3. If you want the direct relation between the diagonal and the volume, simply remember diagonal is equals to root 3a cube on both sides. a cube is equals to diagonal cube by 3 root 3. This is the direct formula related to volume and the diagonal of a cube. So, do d cube by 3 root 3, you will get the answer there. Now, we look at the sums related to cuboid. Look at the first sum. The cuboidal water tank contains 216 liters of water. Its depth is one third of its length and breadth is half of one third of the difference between the length and depth, the length of the tank. So, cuboidal water tanks contain 216 liters. Keep the volume. Volume in liters given, convert it into meters. 1 liter is 1000 meter, 1000 uh, centimeter cube. So, 216000, this is volume. Its depth is one third of the length, length by 3. Breadth is half of one third half of one third of the difference between length and depth. Where depth is clearly given L by 3, L minus L by 3 is two third of L. So, it is L by 9. Substitute in the volume, volume is L into B into H. L is L only, B is L by 9, depth is L by 3. You can write it as 60 cube. L cube is equals to 60 cube into 3 cube. Therefore, length is equals to 60 into 3, 180 centimeters. He is asking you length, therefore, you can say 18 decimeter. Each decimeter is equals to 10 centimeters. So, I am converting the centimeters to decimeter by dividing it by 10. It becomes 18 decimeters. Now, look at the next one. The whole surface area of a rectangular block. So, here rectangular block is nothing but a cuboid. Is 8788 centimeter square. If length, breadth, height are in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2, find the length. Length is 4x. Breadth is 3x, height is 2x. Surface area becomes 2 into 4, 3 is a 12x square, 3, 2 is a 6x square, 4, 2 is a 8x square is equals to 8, 7, 8, 8. Now, the whole thing becomes 12 plus 6, 18 plus 8, 26. Therefore, it becomes 52x square. You can cancel it in 52 table or else 13 table. In anything you cancel, you are going to get 169. So, x is equals to 13. If x is equals to 13, he is asking you the length of the rectangular box. Length is 4 into x. Therefore, 4 into 13, it is 52 centimeters is the answer. See here, find the length of the longest pole that can be put in a room of 10 meters long, 9 meters broad and 7 meters high. Here they are giving you length, breadth and height of the cuboid. Instead of saying cuboid, he said room and longest length is nothing but the diagonal of the cuboid. What is the diagonal of the cuboid? We all know that the diagonal of the cuboid is under root of L square plus B square plus H square. All you have to do is just under root of L square is 10 square that is 100, 9 square is 81 plus 49. 89 plus 49, 81 plus 49 is 130 plus 100 is 230. 
So it is root of 230 meters. Now look at the problem based on cylinder. Now the first problem, a solid metallic cylinder of the base radius 3 centimeters and height 5 centimeter is melted to form cone. So here this problem is related between uh, cylinder and cone, each of height 1 centimeter and base radius 1 mm, then the number of cones. So you're melting a cylinder and forming a cone, therefore I would say volume of cylinder is equals to n into volume of cone. I would say n is equals to you divide the volume of cylinder by volume of cone. Volume of cylinder is pi r square, r is 5, r is 3 here, 3 into 3 into 5. This is one third of pi. 1 mm means 1 tenth of centimeter, therefore 1 by 10, 1 by 10, height is 1 centimeter. So pi pi cancel, this 3 goes up, 27 into 5 is 135, 2 zeros, take 2 zeros as it is. So you are going to get 13,500 smaller cones by melting one big cylinder whose radius is 3 centimeter and height is 5 centimeters. So, so far in this chapter, we have seen the problems related to cube, cuboid and cylinder and we have seen mul multiple instances where cube is inscribed in sphere or a sphere is inscribed in cube. So, in the next class, we will see few more problems based on all of them, so especially three-dimensional figures. Until then, thank you.